In this video, I want to show you how you can easily transfer files off of your Google Pixel phone, such as a Google 4, 5, 5a, 6. This works for all the different Google phones. I'm going to show you how you can transfer files and pictures, videos to a laptop computer, USB flash drive, or even share them to a file uploading service. Up next. Hey everyone, my name is Jeff and let's get right into it. I want to show you how you can transfer files off of your Google Pixel phone. I've got three different ways for you to do this, so let's jump into things. So to transfer files from your Google Pixel phone, you've got a USB-C port on the bottom and you need to get the data from your phone into your laptop computer. So depending on what ports your computer has, uh, you can use something like a USB-C to USB-C cable. Um, you may have USB-C coming out of your phone, but you may only have USB ports on your laptop. So you may need something like a USB-C cable to a USB. So figure out what ports you have. You've got a USB-C coming out of your Google Pixel phone, and then uh, you need some sort of a cable getting to whatever port you're going to use on your laptop. So when you have your phone ready to go, you're going to go ahead and plug your cable into your computer and then go ahead and plug the other end into your phone. And you're going to notice when you do this that on your laptop computer, you're going to get a window that pops up, which is for whatever uh, Pixel you're using. In my case, it's going to be a Pixel 5a and it says this folder is empty and clearly that's not the case because I know that I've got all sorts of pictures and files on my phone that I want to transfer so you need to change a setting on your phone. So what we're going to do is go to our uh, Pixel phone and you're going to take your finger and swipe down from the top of the screen. This is going to reveal your settings and you actually want to with the settings revealed scroll down again and this is going to reveal a little gear icon. So you want to go ahead and tap on that gear icon. And this is going to bring you into your settings. Now from this point, you can go to connected devices. And then under connected devices, you'll be able to see here that uh, USB is charging this device because I've got it plugged into my computer. If I tap on that, that brings up this USB preferences menu. And as I scroll down, it says use USB 4, and you can change this to file transfer. As soon as I hit file transfer, we jump over to my laptop, and you'll notice that now the folder that was empty has gone away, and I can now see internal shared storage uh, has popped up. So when I go ahead and tap on or double click on that, this brings me into the internal storage on my Google Pixel phone, and I can see all the different folders. My pictures are all going to be stored under this DCIM folder. If I click on that, anything I've taken with the camera is going to be under camera. So if I click on that, this is how I'll be able to see any videos as well as pictures that I have taken with my phone. And then from this point, I can just go and choose a folder over here on my PC or maybe an external drive that I have hooked up and I can just go ahead and find whatever pictures I want and then go ahead and highlight those. I can highlight a whole bunch at once. I don't know if you know this, but if you hold down, if you click on say a picture you like and then hold down the shift key on your keyboard, tap on another picture, it's gonna select all those pictures in between. I can then just drag those over to whatever folder I want on my computer to go ahead and copy those. And real quick, as I do in all the videos on this channel, I've hidden Tinker. Tinker is my little hidden robot. He looks just like this guy on my shirt and he pops up in all the videos on this channel. He's popping up somewhere hidden during this video. If you happen to spot him, take note of the timestamp. That is the amount of time into this video that you spotted Tinker popping up. And if you're the first person to let me know that timestamp, down in the comments section below. I'll put your name on our Tinker Forward Hall of Fame page, as well as give you a shout out in one of my future videos. So let's talk about getting files right off your phone, right to something like a flash drive, so you don't even have to use a laptop computer. Uh, this phone is going to have a USB-C port on the bottom of it, and uh, this is a, just a USB flash drive, so the ports don't match. You're gonna need to get yourself a little converter piece, just like this one. This is a USB-C on one end, and then on the other end, we've got USB, 
what I can do is take my flash drive, we're gonna go ahead and plug it into my converter, and then I'm gonna go ahead and take my converter, plug that into my phone, then from this point, the USB drive is actually lighting up. And then on my phone, I can access files by going to files down here in the search. So with files typed in, that's gonna bring up this little files folder icon. I'm gonna click on that. This shows you the whole filing system on your phone. You've got your downloads, images, videos, audio, uh, if I scroll all the way down to the bottom of this, I'll see internal storage. So this is everything I have saved on my phone. And then the Cruiser Glide, that's the name of the flash drive that I currently have plugged in at the bottom. Uh, I can see everything that's currently on that. So I can click on the uh, Cruiser Glide and then find files and copy them over to my phone or vice versa this way. So let's jump to like our images if i tap on one of these images and i want to transfer this say to my uh, flash drive i can uh, just go to the three dots in the upper right corner and then from here i can go to move to or copy to and when i do that down here at the bottom it says uh, internal storage or the cruiser glide so i could choose the cruiser glide uh, I can even pick a folder on that if I want. If I just want to go in the main folder, I can do that. And I'm going to copy here. That's going to copy it over uh, to whatever folder I say use this folder. Allow files by Google uh, to access files on this uh, USB drive. I'm going to say allow copying file to the cruiser glide. And then one file has been copied. So I can jump back. Now, if you wanted to do multiple pictures, I can just long press down on any of those pictures to select them. And then once I've selected all the photos that I want, uh, I can go up to these three dots at the top and then again, go to move to or copy to to copy them to that flash drive. You can do this for videos. You can do this for PDF files, any file that's currently on your phone to get it off onto a external uh, flash drive. So if this video is helping you out, take a second, smash that like button as I greatly appreciate it. The other thing I want to show you is getting files off of your phone. Uh, you can also upload them to some sort of a sharing service such as Google Drive, OneDrive. Uh, if you've got those installed on your phone, uh, you can install things like Google Drive for free just by doing a search. Uh, once you've got them installed, if you go down here again to your search bar, go to your files. So from here I can choose an image. Uh, let's choose Bessie the cow, just chilling at the fair. From this point, I can go down to this little share icon. That's a little Pac-Man looking three dotted uh, sideways V. I'm gonna go ahead and tap on that. And from this point, this brings up all sorts of different options for me to upload to Dropbox. Uh, in this case, I could do Google Drive. And then when I tap on wherever I wanna upload this picture to, that then makes a copy of it uh, and gets it off of my phone. So if you're looking for ways to transfer files or back them up, this is a really convenient way to do that. You can do this not only with pictures, but videos, any type of file that you have on your Google Pixel phone. So I'm interested to know, were you able to successfully transfer files from your Pixel phone to some other device? Let me know down in the comments section below. And if you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing as I do weekly tech tip tutorial videos as well as tech reviews on this channel. I've reviewed some crazy things like auto robot mowers for my lawn, tech tutorial videos such as I go through Google Photos. If you want to know how to you know, do all sorts of stuff with that, Spotify or get more out of using uh, Amazon features, you can check out those videos. I'll have some great videos popping up here at the end of this video. And my name is Jeff. As always, I appreciate you watching. Be sure to make every day awesome, and I will see you in the next video.